Hey, Hawthorne Bears, it's great to see you. Uh, this is Mr. Pie, and I'm wanting to do another estimate mystery with you guys. This one's geared towards grades three to five, although I think second grade might enjoy this as well. Uh, this one is called Countdown, so let's get rocking. Okay, I want you to take a look at that glass. That has a whole bunch of dominoes in it. I want you to go ahead and take a minute and estimate how many dominoes you think are in that glass. Now, once you've got your estimate, I want you to go ahead and write it down or go ahead and tell somebody in the room what your estimate is. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna be going through some clues, crossing out numbers, and fine-tuning our estimate until we can make um, uh, our final estimate. So do you guys have your estimate written down? <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at the first clue. The answer does not include the digits nine or eight. Nine or eight. So I went ahead and did a chart up to 130 this time. So I want you to go through and cross out any number that has a nine or an eight in it. Now that could include the ones place. So if you look here, nine, 19, 29, but it could also include the tens place. So in this case, 81, 82 or 91, 92. So we wanna cross out any number that has an eight or a nine in it. So it should look like this. Okay, did we cross out your number? If so, that's okay. Go ahead, use the new information we have and update your estimate. Now make sure if you're not writing it down that you're telling somebody in the room what your estimate is. All right, you ready for clue number two? Clue number two, the answer does not include the digits seven or six. So again, if we take a look at our chart here, we want to get rid of any num number that has a seven or a six in it in either the ones place or the tens place. And you look at the number 67, that has both. So sixes and sevens. So we can get rid of the ones column that has sixes and sevens, but also the tens column. So the 60s start with a six and the 70s start with a seven. So let's go ahead and get rid of anything that has a six or a seven in it. There we go. Did we cross out your number? If so, that's okay. We can fine tune your estimates now. So look at your new information and write down your new estimate. All right, you have your new estimate? All right, let's take a look at clue number three. Clue number three, the answer does not include the digits five or four. So similar to what we just did, we should be looking at any digits that end in a four or a five or start with, with a four or five. So anything that's got a four in the ones place or the tens place and same with fives. So yes, yeah, so we should go ahead, starting with the ones column, Let's go ahead and we'll cross out all of the fours and the fives. Go over to the tens column, same thing, that gets rid of the 40s and the 50s. Now we do have numbers up to hundreds on here. So we can look at the hundreds place. Do we have any numbers that have a four or five in the hundreds place? No, we don't. So let's go ahead and take care of anything that's got a four or, four or a five in it. All right, that's shrinking down our numbers quite a bit there. Is, do you still see your number there? Go ahead, I'll give you a chance to look at the picture again. And then the numbers. Do you see anything? Go ahead and update your estimate. How many dominoes do you think there are? All right, let's go ahead and look at clue number four. The digits in the answer are unique, meaning that no digit in the answer appears more than once. This is an interesting clue. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. 
no digit in the answer appears more than once. So we know, if you look at 11, that has a one in both the ones place and the tens place. So we would cross out 11. 22 is like that and 33 is like that. So that th those we would cross out. But are, there are some other numbers as you look that have more than one of the same digit in it. How about the number 100? Does it have more than one of the same digit? Yeah, it has two zeros in it. So we, we would probably get rid of that one. How about 110? Yep, it's got two 11s. How about these over here, 111, 112, 113? Yep, you called it. There's definitely uh, two ones in each of those numbers, one in the hundreds place and one in the tens place. And also, what about this number here, 122? Yeah, there's a two in the ones place and a two in the tens place. So let's go ahead and cross out any of those that don't have uh, multiple unique numbers. Okay. That really took it down quite a bit, didn't it? All right, let's look at our last clue. The answer does not include the digit two. The answer does not include the digit two. So we're gonna go ahead and take those out, but I'm wondering, can you guys see why this was called countdown? Well, we started out our first clue, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, two. Hmm. All right. so. Let's go ahead and cross out anything that has the digit two in it. So we want to look at the hundreds place, or the, sorry, the tens, ah! We're going to start out by looking at the ones place. So we're going to cross out anything that has a two in the ones place. What about the tens place? Yeah, we should get rid of 20, 21, and 23. Do you see any other number though that has a two in the tens place? Yeah, if you jump all the way down here to the 120s, it has a two in the tens place. So let's go ahead and get rid of anything that has a two in either the ones, tens place, or the hundreds, although our number only goes up to 130, so there won't be any twos in the hundreds place. There we go. So that we're left with one, three, 10, 13, 30, 31, 103, and 130. So I want you to take a look at the jar or the glass and estimate how many you think there are based on the numbers that we have left. So go ahead, write down your final estimate based on all the new information we have. And now I want you to go tell somebody why you chose that number. And then if you need to, you can hit pause for a minute while you go and do that. But I'll give you 10 seconds anyway to talk about why you chose that number. And here's with the final picture. Okay. Let's see if we can find out how many dominoes there are. The answer? 103 dominoes. Is that what you got? Great job. And if not, that's okay. We are going to keep working on our estimation skills during this time away. Uh, check back on the website later in the week and I'll have some more of these estimate mysteries up for you to, uh, to play with. I also want to thank Steve Whiteborny. He's the one that created these estimate mysteries. You can see more of his stuff at www.stevewhiteborny.com. Or again, you can find a bunch of them on my website at www.mrpythemathguy.com or you can go to the Hawthorne Specialist website. Have fun and stay safe, guys. Miss you.